I bounced around a little bit. I started out um, more so down here, actually uh, playing against Camper. Uh, but I, I played in Jackson for a couple of years, youth hockey. Moved up to Traverse City uh, when I was young, maybe eight or nine. Uh, played up there for the majority of my youth. I played down here uh, for a couple of years, just kind of did the long drive thing. Um, and then I ended up moving uh, back down this way when I was 15, 16, playing for CompuWare um, when uh, Traverse City uh, hockey kind of, it was high school or AAA and I had to make a move. So while it is Victory Honda now, but it was the Ice Dogs back then, um, we actually had a big crew of uh, people from up north that it was kind of a split team, half here, uh, half up there. So it was, we would have some practices in Bay City, kind of meet in the middle, some were up north in Kalkaska, so we kind of practiced everywhere, mostly on the weekends, played on, you know, played when we could. It was a different schedule, but we made it work with up north, just trying to get the best hockey we could. I was fortunate to play with a lot of good players that are, are still going. A lot of them I'm skating with here today and um, this week, but uh, Corey Trop, who's still playing, he was in Columbus last year, uh, played with him in juniors. The junior team was was good. Um, there was Stu Bickle, there was Nate Prosser, uh, Andreas Nodal. There was a bunch of guys that kind of ended up making making their way up there. Um, and then around here with CompuWare, Dustin Gaisley still playing, and um, there's a few players, but uh, a lot of good hockey down this way. So I was still pretty young with the stroke, and you know, it, it scared me pretty good. It was kind of 50-50 if I'd come back again. So, um, you know, that was devastating news because I knew I'd, I loved the game. I, I wanted to make a run of it. And it was right when I was kind of getting into juniors and getting into the real hockey. So that was that was scary. So, um, but it, it kind of makes you put everything in perspective and um, makes you realize how much you do love the game. and. Uh, makes you work that much harder once you're over it and then I kind of had a, a second dose of it with the leg and you know I, I wasn't I really wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go and I thought about it pretty hard for a week and you know it was pretty evident there was just no way I could quit playing you know if I had any um, any leg left so yeah it's they're definitely you learn from your injuries and um, you know, as long as they don't take you down, you can learn. You can learn from them. So, I was fortunate uh, in that regard. And um, some say knee injuries are worse than the leg, anyway. So, played a little bit of everything. I was pretty active. We were always outside. Not much of the video gamers, uh, so that helped us. But I had a brother to play with and a sister, for that matter. Um, we were always golf and baseball was my second biggest sport. Played football. Um, tried soccer for a year. Couldn't really do that one, uh, but pretty much everywhere, everything else. Um, but had to give up baseball for, you know, when it was the crossroads of the, the hockey thing. It was getting serious, and so I had to stop with baseball. But um, played everything. I think it's definitely important uh, to uh, make sure you do as much as you can like that and try and stay athletic more than anything instead of maybe just focusing on one sport. Uh, the whole time. I think it helps to play others and kind of just work on uh, a little bit of everything. You know, when you're 8 to 10, you got to have fun with the game. Um, you know, you can, if, if it's your passion, you'll find a way to take it seriously. Um, and if you love it that much, you'll find a way to get there. But you just need to, you need to work hard, you need to have fun, you need to make sure it's always fun. and. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I guess, I think that uh, people think that the NHL is out of reach, but you got to think that everybody in there now was 8 to 10 years old at some point. So um, I think believing in yourself goes a long way. Uh, make, make sure you have as much fun with it because you never know when it's over and uh, just enjoy it and work as hard as you can. I definitely got lucky that uh, I ended up going to Ferris State. It's, uh, it was closer to home, a kind of smaller town, kind of more of a family feel to it. 
as opposed to some of those other big schools where you can kind of get lost. And so we had we had just the tightest group. I think those guys do such a good job of recruiting uh, character people um, and just building a team around people that want to be there and want to work hard. And I think they definitely find a way to get the get the most out of their players. And um, for me, it was awesome. We had the best four years I could ask for and uh, you know we're still going back to this day for golf outings so it's uh, it was a good setup for me.